hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to do my makeup while i react or talk about um Laefa's video with her mom by the way i love Laefa's mom like i can listen to the woman for days like i can listen to her talk over and over and over again she's a joy to listen to she should have her own show she should have her own channel okay so shout out to you Laefa. if you're watching this video please Tell your mom that she should have her own channel, okay? Where we'll come and be listening to premium gist, premium advice, okay? But yeah, there's something I want to really touch on, okay? Um, don't mind me, guys. I'm going to be looking everywhere while I make this video because I want to do my makeup as quickly as possible. Because most times I just talk, talk too much and forget to finish my makeup and I have to pause and do makeup and then come back. Anyway, I want to touch on this topic of early marriage, okay? Because believe me, you, I get asked that question a lot about early marriage, what would you advise? What would you, what do you think about early marriage? And at some point, I got tired of answering that question because at the end of the day, everybody should just do them, okay? There's no templates to these things. Of course, there's an ideal of, oh, marry early, have your kids early, achieve your goals, whatever, whatever, whatever. There's an ideal, societal ideal. However, <laughs> not everybody's going to have that ideal and it doesn't mean that they are unfortunate for not having that ideal, okay? People's lives, people's choices, people's personalities are going to detect how their life goes in different ways. And it doesn't mean that one is better than the other. Or, okay, I think how I put it is this, right? Sometimes you might actually have that ideal, but it's not the best for you. Sometimes you might have that ideal, but it won't work out the way you think it's going to work out. I'll use myself as an example. I've said talking too much now. I've not even done anything. So, I got married quite early, right? I got married quite early, uh, at least according to recent modern Nigerian standards, because 23 is not quite early in my mother's days, so 23 is actually old. <laughs> I got married 22, 23, okay? So, 23 is actually old in my, in my mother's days, but for modern young people's Nigerian standard, 23 was, is quite early, right? So, I got married at 23. In fact, I literally did my convocation in november i did my wedding in december i served in 2012 i served in port Court. i served because i was married i served from my husband's house basically from my house <laughs> i say husband's house but sometimes it sounds weird to me like it's not husband's house it's our house okay you know i didn't even stay in camp throughout because they gave us options of if you're married you can go home uh -huh. i took it to <laughs> the three like i was like peace y'all i can't do this i left camp the school where i even served was like five minutes away from my house um, so yeah, I served in 2012 and then in 2013, I got a job. I didn't have any godfather or any uncle or anything. I got a banking job, a good banking job without any knowing anybody, okay? I wrote the exam, I passed and I got the job, okay? So things in my life has always gone the, you know, desirable way. Let me put it that way, right? After everything now, oh yeah, now come and give birth. <laughs> Should be everything has worked out for you. Uh, as in smoothly thus far right oh yeah come and give birth let us see <laughs> you know and that was how i now you know had um infertility issues unexplained one or so there was no end in sight you know if they can explain it somehow it's either you say okay i'll go and do ivf or i'll go and solve whatever the problem is my mom was that they could not tell what the problem was they were in fact they kept telling me there's no problem okay okay there's no problem how come baby's not coming you know so if i had had kids when i got married Cora now is supposed to, or whoever would have had that time, because it won't be Cora, whoever would have had that time is supposed to be 10 years or going to 11 years. Like if I had if I'd gotten pregnant in 2011 and given birth in 2012, the child is supposed to be like 10 years, you know, going to, yeah, 10 years basically, okay? So at the end of the day, I started well, well in terms of societal standards, but there was a hiccup around the way, okay? The good thing is that because I married early, even though I went through four years of infertility and all of that, I still had my kids early enough okay at least before 30 i was done even though i now had sophia after i was 30 but before 30 i was done with my kids and and all that and all that okay which is what life as mom was talking about she was saying that um you know a woman should give birth that is good for a woman to marry early so that she'll have all her kids early and she'll grow with her kids at least before 30 you should be done that was what happened with her okay so i get her points very well i understand where 
her mom is coming from very well okay listening to everything that i said about her mom her mom is quite accomplished okay her mom is not a poor person by any standards i mean obviously i don't know her real situation or like i'm not in their house okay but from everything they said everything i could gather her mom is not poor her mom is doing very well for herself i mean she said her mom as at when life i was in secondary school her mom was buying bag of 200k hey I said 200k now is expensive. Don't talk of then. Okay, 200k now. So bag of 200k now is expensive with all the inflation and all the dollar rise and everything. Bag of 200k now is still expensive, at least to me. Okay, so if her mom at that point was buying a bag of 200k, then her mom has money. Okay, and from what she was saying, you know, they they went to the best schools. Her mom had her mom had a thriving job. Um, I think she said she's into estates or something. From what they were saying, her mother is quite accomplished. Her mother has a good job or had a, well, I think has a good job. If you see the way her mother looks in the video, I mean, she's happy. She's radiating joy. You know, she's talking about that she does skincare, but skincare is not the real source of her joy, right? I mean, source of her, her radiance is more like, you know, forgiving people, having joy, treating yourself. There's many things in that video that I was like, please, this is the life I want to live in treating yourself giving yourself you know the best being selfish sometimes you know not in a bad way but you know giving yourself those things that you really like things that give you joy she said that her own is closed so she likes clothes like if you see her wardrobe if she evaluates her wardrobe it is into millions you know so it was now i don't know it was now weird to me seeing laifa kind of reject her mother's um idea of early marriage you know laifa was basically telling her mom that in those days you know, women did not really have a choice. Women did not dare to dream. Women did not do this and do that. But in our own age, in our own time, women are daring to dream. Women are dreaming and are achieving more. And I was like, okay, well, life has been actually quite accomplished, okay? <laughs> and trust me. And she had five daughters, okay? She had five kids and she had five kids. She, okay, she got married at 22 or so. She had five kids. She finished having her kids by the age of 30. She was married, of course but she's quite accomplished as a woman right now i mean even the dress she wore in the video self it was it was it was bling <laughs> it was it was blinging it was it was blinding the enemies okay she was radiating joy she was radiating happiness you could tell that this is a happy person okay so it was it was it was funny to me seeing like if i tell her mom that you know it, how do I put it okay i think my point is this right life as mom is actually a very good example of a woman who got married early had her kids early but still achieved a lot in life and is still happy and doing well and looking young, looking peng, looking, you know, good. So, why is Laefa still not subscribing to her mom's idea of early marriage, okay? That's basically what was weird to me. Like, the person I'm talking to is a good example of early marriage gone right, <laughs> you know? Early marriage, of course, there are bad examples, plenty. <laughs> oh, poor. Okay, but the person I'm talking to is a very good example of early marriage gone right and as far as i'm concerned her legacy is good like she has daughters to show for it she has good daughters to show for it she raised her kids well she talked about how she was a disciplinarian how she doesn't need to allow nonsense to you know and this is someone that she hustled in her life too as well she had businesses according to what she was saying you know she had several businesses even though she had a job after her nine to five she would still enter a bus go and do um Go, go and buy bill and sell bill, you know. So she wasn't one of those women that you said were lazy or that were held back because obviously she wasn't held back by marriage. If she had a nine to five, but she would still go and do her bill, she was still doing businesses, she was still working, she was still making plenty of money. Obviously, marriage did not hold her back. So why was Laefa now not subscribing to her mom's idea of early marriage? Okay, that's basically what I want to talk about in today's video okay from what they discussed laefa's mom actually wanted laefa to get married earlier like when she was 25 before she either before she moved to lagos or around the time she moved to lagos or so her mother wanted her to get married you know but laefa was like no she didn't want she wanted to discover herself which is another thing we're going to talk about i think i've talked about this thing several times i'm about to talk about it again today right and she wanted to discover herself there are so many things she wanted to achieve for herself before she gets tied down by a man okay that one too rang a bell in my ear okay um before she gets tied down by a man or no tied to a man that's what she said before she gets tied to a man 
you know, that one rang a bell in my ear. I have so many things she wants to achieve. You know, our generation, we are wiser. These are her own words, okay? Our generation are wiser. We know what we want. That if she had gotten married then, the trajectory, the, tra the trajectory of her, I don't know why English is failing me today, I'll be speaking, it's failing me today. But if she had gotten married then, the trajectory of her life would have changed, okay? She would not have achieved what she has achieved today. She would have been, things would have been different for her. Um, yeah, she had a number of points that made sense. Like, if you're listening to it, it actually makes sense. Um, but again, I think what my problem was, was the person I'm talking to is not a bad example either of any marriage, okay? So why are young people these days, why are young women these days kind of against the idea of any marriage, okay? At least in words, because sometimes I feel like many people are not really against it in, in reality, but, you know, when we're speaking, many of us just you know fight that idea when speaking like you don't want to admit that oh i wish i had gotten married early or i want to get married early okay i feel like it's that one i'm not saying that everybody wants to get married i'm saying that a lot of people who even though even those who wanted it don't like to admit that they wanted it or they want it many people still prefer to act like you know this is a really bad idea that they never really subscribe to at all at all at all i'm not saying that's like first um um story or whatever i'm just saying generally okay i'm not talking about life in this case because i don't really know her personally i don't know her struggle her life i don't even really know her okay so i'm not speaking on her i'm speaking on generally um women okay um it was funny to me when she said about, when she talked about being tied down to a man uh, i mean tied to a man okay and i was like how come i've never felt tied to my husband it's it's quite funny there's something off there <laughs> I've never for one day felt tied to my husband, okay? I mean, I've never felt tied to my husband. It's, it's a funny concept to me, that idea of being tied to a man. It, I've never felt that way. I've never felt like I'm, I'm tied to my husband. I've never felt like my husband is holding me back. I've never felt like marriage limited me. If anything, I feel like marriage, you know, you know gave me a lot of wings to fly, gave me a lot of space to, to shallay anyhow so that I can... <laughs> Because I had somebody to fall back on, so I could shallay until I found my purpose, until I found my, um, you know, my, my dream job, which is what I'm doing right now, okay? I feel like because I was married, I had the opportunity to just mescafon. <laughs> I was only trying to understand, what does it mean tied to a man? Does it mean that once you get married, um, everything about you now, now becomes about your husband? Because that's what many people say, many people think that once you get married, everything now is about your husband, what he wants, what his dreams are, his aspirations are, is no longer about you. Um, yes, there are marriages where that occurs, but why are we not seeing such marriages as anomalies? Why are we seeing it as that's the norm? And then marriages like mine are, oh, you're lucky. Like, you're the lucky few. Like, why? Why is society like that, you know? And that's, that's my point about, you know, why I feel like a lot of young women are rejecting the idea of marriage is because there are so many bad examples i think that's the problem there are so many bad examples both in the media both in you know in society in general both amongst our moms and our families and our villages i feel like there are so many bad examples so that is why a lot of ladies are rejecting the notion of marriage we are seeing marriage as some kind of negative impact in a woman's life okay we're seeing it that way. And I can't blame people who see it that way because it has been a negative impact in many women's lives, okay? It has been. Like, let's not even deny it. There are so many women who, it's almost like their destinies, <laughs> their destinies were sucked up by their husband. Their husband just killed them. These are women who would have flourished, who would have done well, but their husbands killed them, okay? Now, the, the thing I want us to be careful of is making it look like that is the way marriage is designed. Marriage is not designed to kill a woman's destiny if anything okay from how i feel god designed marriage it's for you to have a partner that will even help you to grow and achieve more in life okay one can go so far what's that thing they used to say about when you go alone you go fast but when you go with somebody you go further okay yes yeah, so that is what it is basically when you go alone of course you go fast you know you're not really considering anybody when you're making decisions so you're going to be doing these decisions faster and faster okay however when you have a partner what tends to happen is that you go further because you now have a a body i don't know you now have somebody that would help you to achieve more 
Like, if you marry the right person, if you actually marry somebody who is sensible, if you actually marry somebody who is God's dream for you, if you marry somebody who understands marriage and understands how, how marriage is supposed to work, you know, both of you are going to achieve way more than you would have achieved as a person because two heads, two good heads, okay, are better than one. That's just the truth. Two good heads are better than one. So, I don't want us to get um, confused by these things and think that marriage by design is going to tie you down, it's going to limit you, it's going to make you less, you know, achieve less in life. No. You know, so, that's why a lot of women say, oh, they want to achieve this before they get tied down. They want to achieve this before marriage will limit you. I said it in several times that if there's anything that's going to limit you in this life, it's having kids. Okay, it's not, it's not husband. If there's anything that will slow you down in this life, it's having kids because at some point you have to sacrifice a lot for them. You know, a lot of women have to sacrifice their careers for their children or while raising children. There's a lot of setbacks in your career once you start having children. It is what it is. It is not necessarily a bad thing, okay, because again, you wanted to have these children. So you have to make those sacrifices to be able to get these children to where they need to be, okay, before you now jump back in to the... Some people, it doesn't affect them, okay. I'm talking about specific people that it affects. It's, it's just what it is. You can't really blame God or anybody. Like, blame yourself. <laughs> Blame yourself because at the end of the day, you did what you had to do to get these children to where they needed to be, okay? And as much as we try to say, oh, how, how come men are not this? How come men are not, you know, taking those responsibilities? At the same time, two people cannot stay back home and take care of kids. How are they going to chop? How? How are they going to do it? Two people, can, two people cannot do that job, okay? One person must do that job. So it's either you do it or your husband does it. And the other person does the part of, you know, um getting money and resources and, and advancing in his career. Basically, okay, it's either you're advancing your career so that you can provide more for your family while your spouse stays back, or your husband will advance in his career so that he can provide money so that you can stay back and take care of the kids, okay? So, I don't know why we usually, I don't know why we usually see it as a very bad disadvantage to women that, oh, men are allowed to advance in their careers. And of course, he needs to advance in his career because he has a wife and kids. Okay, he needs to. He's not supposed to hold him back. Like having a wife and kids is supposed to hold him back because he's, it is holding his wife back. Do you want both of them to be held back, or what is your argument? <laughs> you know, it's your argument that the husband and wife should both be held back. Because sometimes I think that when we talk about men, especially when we talk about our colleagues, okay, we as women, I feel like sometimes when we talk about our colleagues, talk about them as if no, they're just non-entities. They don't have families too as well that would that would um, profit from those they are advancements in their careers okay because the same way you are angry that oh i went on maternity leave and this and that and this and that that's the same way his wife still went on maternity leave and it affected her own job so he has to pick up the slack for t not the slack or uh, not it's not a slack but he has to pick up the you know extra income and all of that 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 freedom avails him he has to he has to basically make the most of it to provide for a family. Now, this is all things being equal. There are selfish men in this world who just want to advance their careers and leave their wives where they are, don't even take care of their wives and all that. Those ones, those examples are there, okay? But my point is like we should stop using those examples as if they are the norm, as if that is what is supposed to happen. Like we should not excuse it as, oh, because life is like this, that's why I have to. Achieve. No, that's not, it is not the norm. It, it should be frowned upon as this is weird this is not what marriage is designed to be okay society should stop expecting it as that is what marriage is that's not what marriage is marriage is not supposed to limit anybody neither the male nor the female okay because some men get limited by marriage too but that's a topic for another day some men get into a lot of trouble because of the wives that they marry that's a topic for another day but let us not um, excuse those let us not let us not um accept it okay that's my point right another thing i was even now wondering is that okay since laefa herself has a good example as far as i'm concerned her mother is a very good example of course i don't know the dynamics of their family again i'm just saying based on what they said in the video okay since laefa has a good example of early marriage like that in her life why is she still you know not in support of it right you know why does she still feel like it could have limited her it would have not she wouldn't have achieved her dream why does she still feel that way and that is where societal influence comes into play okay so it's easy for us to say oh she has a good example as a, as a mom why does it it's easy for us to think that way but we're forgetting that society has a huge influence on so many things that we do and the way we think okay so your mom might be a fantastic example but your aunties your uncles your brothers your sisters your not your brothers like your relatives right might be terrible examples <laughs> I, I know one case 
your relatives might be terrible examples that you're like, if not this one, make I, make I stay where I did. My mother is a unicorn. My mother's situation is unique, okay? This is how life really is. So I won't use my mother to judge, you know? So the society, there are so many terrible examples. So when we sit and wonder for those people that always judge people that say oh they don't want to get married at all some people don't want to get married at all but some people don't want to make get married early some people don't even want to some people just want to have kids they don't want to have husband okay it's easy for us to sit down and judge them and be like ha how does she think this way this one does not even know what she's talking about blah 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 it's easy like that until you see some examples that will tell you if not this one eh make i remain single forever till i die i don't want to have kids there's some examples you'll see that you'll be like if is this if this is what marriage is eh, count me out for life you know, even me that I have is good, and I really believe that I have is good, right? Even me that I have is good. At some point, <laughs> what I say I read on the media, what I say seeing online, what I say seeing people's stories, when I say hearing people's stories, I said to look my look at my husband with one kind side eye. I was like, hmm, this man, are you sure you're not hiding something from me? Are you sure that one day you're not going to just change and become like these people that I'm seeing online, like I'm like these men that my 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 fellow ladies online are talking about. Are you sure that I'm not um, being blind to some of the things that you might be doing underneath? Maybe I don't know. You know, society will make you think like hey, you have to be scared of every man that walks the face of the earth. Too. If you really think about it, like if you really listen to news, if you really listen to people's stories, if you really hear what happens out there. You will feel like every man is a threat. But at the same time, I have to remind myself that there are so many good stories out there. It's just that bad news travels faster. That's the truth. Yeah, bad news travels faster. The other day, I was talking with my girls, um, Amarantia and Elizabeth, you know, talking to them about basically life, marriage, all those things. Because I talk to them about it from time to time, right? Um, so, I was asking them, okay, when do you want to get married? Is marriage on your mind? You know, just basically wanting to know where their mind is at because I don't want someone to be in my house feeling like, oh, I'm supposed to be married, but this woman is holding me back because I'm in this woman's house. I need to go out there and meet the rib of my ribs. I'll be waiting with my missing rib. Oh, no, I'm the one with the missing rib. Oh, I'm the missing rib myself. Oh, yeah, I don't want someone to feel like I'm holding them back from getting to where they need to be marriage-wise or relationship-wise, right? Because, again, whether we like it or not, it's not easy for you to find husband while you're in somebody else's house because I'm not going to allow you to go out the way you want to go out, okay? I allow you to go out to an extent, but I'm not going to leave you to say you want to go to club or you want to go for a party, you know, night party or something like that, okay? So, um, and these are places where people meet husbands, basically. Okay, my aunt is in school, so her own is easier. But for Elizabeth, that's still in the house, even though she's planning to, you know, leave at some point, I, I wanted to be sure that right now she doesn't have that urge to want a relationship or want, I think it's a relationship anyway, but I don't want her to have that urge to want to be with a guy and I'm the one stopping her back, okay? So I was trying to ask her, okay, you know, what do you people want? When do you want to get married and stuff like that? And they were like, ah, they're not thinking about marriage now. They want to make their money first. You know, they even said it like, ah, no, please, oh, I want to make my money first. And I laughed because <laughs> it, to me, I was like, ah, oh, small picking. Not just small picking, I, I was just like, this sounds like uh, Twitter. It sounds like what people read on Twitter, you know? What people see on social media. It sounds like when you adopt a social media concept. And I, and I call it social media concept, okay? Even though it's not really social media, it's just like a general human thing. But it's like when you adopt a social media concept, okay? A Twitter concept without actually thinking it through. And asking yourself if it really makes sense you know because sometimes when you read something online when people give advice online the way i'm giving people advice now that people do not ask me you know the way people give advice online because it's online and it's packaged in a certain way it sounds like good advice it sounds like it makes sense you won't really allow yourself question it because it sounds like it's coming from somebody intelligent especially when a person can speak english you know you won't really allow yourself questioning that's how it sounded like to me because who told you that when you get married, you can stop, you won't be able to make money again? Like, where are we getting that concept from? Okay, of course, I'm saying that there are examples that exist, but that is not the norm. That is, I mean, that should not be the norm. That should not be the criteria. Like, that should not be like, oh, this is what marriage is. That's not what marriage is. There are anomalies in life. There are, you know, weird people, there are wicked, there's wickedness in high places, okay? But that does not now change the original definition or original concept of what marriage is, okay? So... Where are people getting this idea that, oh, as a woman, oh, you have to make your money first before you get married, though, because if you don't, you know, marriage is going to stop you. Marriage is going to limit you. Marriage is going to hold you back. Marriage is going to stop you from achieving your dreams. Where are we getting that concept from? Okay? 
maybe I'm giving, maybe I'm talking this way because I'm kind of biased, maybe because it's not my story. So that is why I feel this way. But again, it's, it's not my story. And I know that there are many women like me in the world who is not our story as well. So why can't, why can't we tell our stories and why can't people use our stories as motivation for them to also find what we have, okay? What we have, the kind of persons we have, the kind of people that we're married to, why can't people, you know, have it in mind that God will give me that kind of person. God will give me even better self. Especially the ones that are even in my house, self. And they know my story. Why are you thinking, still thinking of marriage as a bondage for you? Do you get my point? And I feel like because we're thinking of marriage as a bondage for us, many of us even settle for those terrible human beings because we feel like that is what comes with marriage. And because we now want the marriage. Because trust me, many people want marriage, okay? A lot of women want marriage. It is what it is. It's not a bad thing. It is, it is God that made it that way. It's God. Like, it's not, if you want to blame anybody, blame God. It's God that made it that way for women to crave and want marriage. For even men as well to crave and want marriage. Just that a lot of women don't want to admit it because admitting it now makes it look like you are a weak person or you are just a, you don't have sense, you know? It's what it is. So, why? So, because they now crave marriage, at some point, they will now see themselves settling for terrible people because they just feel like that's what comes with marriage, that's how marriage should be. So, there's no point even trying too hard to find better. No, okay, no, that's not what marriage is supposed to be, that's not what, how marriage is. And I feel like, I even feel like now we even have more examples of better men, okay? I feel like now we have more examples. The same way we learn from the mistakes of our mothers, that's the same way a lot of men have learned from the mistakes of their fathers, okay? Every generation, it gets better. Trust me. It gets way better. So, why are we not looking at those better as, you know, what we want? Why are we still seeing it as, ah, this one will hold me back. Or this one will, marriage will, marriage will definitely hold me back. Like, they said it with so much confidence. Like, ah, no, I want to make my money first, too. You know, we said it with so much confidence. And I was like, ah, what is going on in the world? What are you people reading on social media? What is, who they publish all these kind of things? Because me, I know that it is not from me that they got that concept okay and now as i'm saying all this now am i now trying to say that um as a woman you know your life should revolve about around boyfriend and husband and marriage and stuff like that hell no that's not what i'm saying anybody that has more than two brain cells will know what i'm saying okay <laughs> i feel like i said that a lot but yeah anybody that has sense normally will understand what i'm saying so don't, i'm not trying to say Oh, a woman's life should revolve around husband or getting married early. She should not achieve anything in life. She should just be there waiting for a man to come and sweep her off her feet. No. Again, like I said, from the beginning, not everybody that married that that uh, married early is an ideal. Does not mean that it is for everybody. Okay. Not everybody who marries early is happy. Not everybody who marries late is happy. Okay. Not everybody who uh, marries early achieves their dreams. Not everybody who marries late achieves their dreams as well. So basically, all I'm trying to say in this video, and what I'm going to advise my daughters, okay, is don't be against the idea of early marriage, okay? Like, be open to it. Be open to it. Just look for certain criteria before you settle down, right? Because, I mean, again, like what Laifa's mother was saying, it's sweet. If you marry early, you marry the right person early, you know, you have your kids early, and then you grow with your kids, and then when your kids are done, like, like Laifa's mom said, she's in her 50s, I think early 50s or so, I don't even know. She's in her 50s and her last child just graduated from university. So the woman is now free to, in fact, enjoy her life. When I was younger, 50s to sound very old to me, but right now 50 sounds okay. <laughs> it sounds not too young, not too old, okay? It sounds like a good age to actually enjoy your life. Obviously, you don't have the strength of when you are in your 20s or in your 30s, but you are not very weak either, okay? You're not very weak. Look at Ketensha. Look at Laefa's mom, okay? They're not weak, frail, weak old women in the village with walking stick, no. They are still young, they are still hot, they are still doing it, they are still killing it, you know, killing the game. So, don't be against the idea of it. However, if it doesn't come or if it doesn't work for you that way, then we move. Like, it's not a bad thing. You're not different for it not working for you that way. You're not... Um, like you're not there's nothing wrong with you for it not working for you that way okay everybody's story is different right and the reason why i say be open to it is that a lot of people what i feel is going to happen or is already happening that a lot of people will see early marriage as a bad thing as something they don't want for themselves so because of it subconsciously they chase away even the good guys okay they chase away even the or the 
misuse the good guys because in your mind you're like i beg i'm not ready to settle down when i'm ready to settle down i will now find my husband but right now i don't settle down because early marriage is this early marriage is that and at the end of the day they miss who who god has really ordained for them well i don't feel like there's just one person but they miss who they could have you know had a beautiful life with and then in the end before you know what's happening desperation sets in all kinds of tiredness and <laughs> put it that way sets in and then you're just like let me just settle, let me just settle, time is going, I need to have my kids now, before a certain age, before you know what's happening, they end up settling for one useless guy, you know, useless guy that will now be, you will now be like, okay, what till you gain? So, there is nothing wrong with early marriage, okay, the problem is if you marry the wrong person, that is when there is a problem, but there is really nothing wrong wrong with early marriage and for this concept of oh getting to know yourself knowing yourself i understand where people are coming from when they say that too so don't think that i don't understand because some people sometimes feel like we don't understand what people are trying to say i understand what people mean by you know getting to know yourself knowing what you want knowing what you like knowing what you know who you really are okay i understand that right but always remember that first of all you can't really you can't finish knowing yourself you can't even know yourself enough you can't know yourself as a wife except to become a wife Okay, do you get what I mean? What I mean, you can't know how you will be as a wife except when you are in it, when you're now a wife. You don't know how you're going to be as a mom except when you're in, in it as a mom. Okay, it's a different thing what you think you'll be and how you really would be. <laughs> okay, sometimes it's not far off, sometimes it's far off, but it's, it's a different ball game when you're actually living that thing. It's easier to sit down and think that oh you're going to be a certain way you're not going to allow certain things you're not going to do certain things okay oh. all right ma we we hear you ma <laughs> you know they no finish some things that you will see in marriage it will shock it will shock you to your bone marrow like you you will not believe it you'll be asking yourself huh like what just happened like is this a joke <laughs> seriously you ask yourself what just happened here and the fact that you have challenges in your marriage does not mean that the person you married is wrong for you, okay? It doesn't mean that the person is wrong for you. It just means that both of you need to grow, okay? Once you understand that two of you came together as imperfect human beings to make yourself better, okay? To improve, to make changes, to achieve more in life, to, you know, work together as a team to make heaven, basically. <laughs> Okay, because that's the goal. That's the end game of everything. Though. That's the end game. In case, you, in case you don't know, the end game of everything, including marriage, is for you to make heaven. Okay? Marriage is like a prototype of what heaven is supposed to be like. Okay? I can't remember who said that thing, but I, I totally believe it. Marriage is like a prototype of what heaven is supposed to be like. What, you know, our relationship with God is supposed to be like. Okay? So, I don't want to glue this thing down because I'm only filming videos today. But if I say the thing could disgrace me, you so knowing that you're not a perfect person and your husband himself knowing that he too is not a perfect person makes your marriage perfect okay once you both understand that and you both accept it and you both work towards getting better that's what makes your, your marriage perfect okay your marriage is not perfect because you guys don't have issues or you guys are, are boiling that's not what makes a marriage perfect though in fact <laughs> that might be one of the biggest one of the biggest flaws in your marriage the fact that you think it's perfect might be the biggest flaw in your marriage okay so you are both not perfect you are both going to do nonsense as in do nonsense that when you look back you just be like how could we and that's what happens when you get married early sometimes okay sometimes you get married early and then 10 years down the line you and your husband are going to look back and be like oh more we have changed though hey we have changed okay i'm not trying to speak for early marriage i'm not trying to convince anybody to get married early but sometimes when people get married late especially when they get married like towards their 40s okay they are already set in a certain way that it now makes it difficult for you to blame another human being okay you've already been used to doing your thing a certain way for so long for being independent and being different and being on your own for so long that when you now bring someone else into the picture it's hard okay ask people who get married late ask people who get married to older men it's difficult it's not easy okay thinking that oh you know yourself you know yourself it's not easy at that point him too he knows himself and himself might not be what you really want and he cannot change but when both of you get married young okay you both change for each other you both 
mold each other into what each other wants each other to be okay you both mold yourselves into what is best for both of you okay i hope i'm making sense so again like i said i'm not making a case for getting married early it's not for everybody i mean it can't be for everybody like god did not just make all of us one way you know it can't be for everybody it has its perks it also has its disadvantages so also does getting married late or getting married at an older age it also gets has its own perks and also has its own disadvantages okay so let us not just be open to anyone that works for you, okay? That's just it. Because I get this question a lot. Oh, I'm 23. Um, my parents are saying I should get married, but I don't want to get married. I want to do this, blah, 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 blah. What do you think? Just on your own, decide what you think is best for you, judging based on your circumstances and the kind of men you are meeting, okay? So, as I say, you should marry early. It not mean that when idiots are coming your way, you'll not be like, well, early marriage is good, so let me just settle with this guy. You will hate yourself. <laughs> you will see yourself out of that marriage quickly and you'll not be like, what was the point? What was the reason? <laughs> Okay, so at the end of the day, oh, I need to glue this thing. Oh. So at the end of the day, just make sure that you find the right person, okay? And you can find the right person at any age. It is it's just based on does the person check some certain boxes, okay? Maybe I've done a video about it. I think I've done a video about it, about what to look out for in a partner. I think I've done a video about it. I must have, okay? But there are so many people online who have done videos about it. There are so many pastors who have done videos about it. Go and watch all those videos if you don't know what to check for in a partner, okay? But there are so many things that you should look out for in a partner. Once that partner checks all those boxes, okay, those basic boxes, you are good to go, okay? Because... If he himself is sensible enough or is a good person, he himself is going to enter that marriage with the kind of mindset that you are entering that marriage with, which is, which is we're not perfect, but we're going to make it work against all odds and we're going to grow, okay, as long as they're not deliberately, del deliberately hurting you, okay, because... Yeah, as long as the partner is not deliberately hurting you, there are many things I've forgiven my husband for because I know that he did not deliberately wake up and choose violence. <laughs> You know, he didn't deliberately wake up and say, mm -mm, I won't give her what she wants, or I won't do what she wants, or I won't be how she wants me to be. No, he didn't deliberately choose that way. It's just his person. It's just what he knows. It's just how he is. He thought that acting in a certain way was going to benefit the family or benefit me, and it did not, and he changed. Same way, I have things that I do or I did, and I felt like I was doing the best for my family and best for that situation. And it turns out it wasn't okay. Looking back, I'm like, why did I even think like that? That's how life is, okay? I'm sure at 40, at 50, at 60, I'm going to look back at 30, at 40, at 50 and be like, I didn't even know what I was doing then, okay? Or I should have known better then, or I didn't do it the best way that I could then. We're always look back and see mistakes that we made. So it is what it is. So when we think of, oh, we're going to know, we want to try and know ourselves, we want to try and, you can't finish knowing yourself, or you don't know, <laughs> I'm telling you, you don't know how you're going to be as a grandma. I, mean, I don't even know how I'm going to be as a grandma. I think I know. But I don't, I don't know at the same time. Things might change. Situation changes. I might not even be the hands-on grandma that I think I'm going to be. I might reach that time and I'll be like, huh. <laughs> you know? I might reach that time and I'll be like this, okay? In fact, I think I'm going to be like this, that kind of grandma. I'm going to be that kind of grandma that will be coming to your house with like three helps, okay? I'll come to your house with three helps. All of us are going to just sit down and just be chilling while the people are doing all the work, okay? Because I don't like stress. I'm going to bath my grandchildren myself, okay? I mean, I love giving, you know, newborn babies a bath, okay? So I know I'm going to bath my new, my grandchildren, but that's about it. Every other thing, we're going to have a chef for food. We're going to have a nanny for, you know, babysitting the kids. And we're going to have, you know, a cleaner, stuff like that, okay? So I think I'm going to be that kind of grandma. When that time comes, only God knows. I might be like, no, I don't want anybody to touch this grandchild. I must do everything myself. I don't know. So you can't finish knowing yourself. That's just the truth. Just know that. Just know the con just know the basic things about yourself, okay? I know I'm not a bad person. I know I'm not um, um, a terrible human being, okay? <laughs> Once I know those parts, every other thing, I'm going to figure it out as we as we go. Anyway, I feel like I've talked too much in this video. This video is definitely going to be too long, but I don't care. I'm going to edit everything like that and post it like that. People should watch, okay? But let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Let me know what you think about, you know, that Laefa's video with her mom. I love the video so much. I love listening to Laefa's perspective. Some things she said made me understand why young people you know of today are so against early marriage okay and at the same time i understand where her mom is coming from okay i just thought to talk more about it because it's it looked funny to me that 
the two people talking about these things are both successful women. Like, nobody there is, is struggling. They're both successful women. So, <laughs> it was just interesting to me. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys like my makeup. I feel like I look beautiful. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.